Hi all, I have another very entertaining game of Leader Chess to show you. The Test 30 network, so 31206 in this game against Stockfish 7. This is a game by David Grosvenor, Fast and Furious, Time Control, 40 moves per 2 minutes or a 2 second increment per move. C4 from Stockfish 7. We have Knight F6, Knight C3, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, E4, end of book given to both. Leela goes Bishop B4 as if to double the pawns. In fact, after d3, Leela castles, and now Stockfish prompts the pawns uh, to be doubled, so getting the bishop pair, which maybe Stockfish believes is very, very good to have. d6, bishop e2, h6. It swings and roundabouts here, though. Structural damage, uh, blockade potential. So this, at least, also neutralizes that bishop from pinning the knight. We have white castling, knight h7, and bishop e3 was played here. This actually has occurred in an over the board game before this exact position with d4, as in Argentano uh, Riviaro, who was 2402 with white against Naja, a grandmaster, 2664 in Alat 2012. That game ended in a win with black. Uh, so that was a, ver a very interesting game in its own right. So we have bishop e3 here though, f5, so very aggressive on the king's side. e takes, bishop takes, d4, and now e4. Lila has got that central pawn grip here. We have b6 trying to slow down white's c5 break, which might liberate the bishop pair. We have knight c2, queen h4, knight b4. Knight e7, c5 anyway. So disregarding black trying to discourage that. Knight f6. If d5, this gives some pressure on d5 immediately, c4, and actually it should be about equal. This position will be about equal. So actually, Leila just plays knight f6. We have c takes, c takes. So white is actually also undoubled the pawns basically with the bishop pair the stockfish have a point here there's also a4 now with a5 to come rook a e8 a5 knight g6 so black structure is actually it seems being compromised here after a takes a takes uh, this pawn in particular the b6 pawn seems vulnerable but look at this storm brewing around the white king does this mean anything king h1 uh, here, if rook a7, knight g4, it looks dangerous, but bishop takes g4, check, and queen d5 should be okay. So we have, uh, you know, so rook a7 is an alternative, it seems, king h1. We have knight g4 here, bishop takes. On h3 here, then black can play knight takes, and then bang, bishop takes h3. This position is vicious after knight h4, threatening checkmate. And say rook f2, this is just a disaster. So white's getting crushed there. So bishop takes g4. We have bishop takes g4, queen a4. On f3 here, you might consider as a try, e takes, g takes, bishop h5 is really bad for white after queen h3. This position, uh, the, the bishops just lose there. <laughs> so yeah, white's having to sort of safeguard the king and f3. It's just not happening with e3 under fire. It's just not happening. So uh, queen a4, queen's kind of evicting herself away from the king. We have king h7, rook g1. And now this is a really interesting move, which stockfish kind of doesn't think much of but Leela does clearly to play it uh, the stockfish treatment of this position is rook e6 my stockfish 9 rook e6 with the idea of knight f4 and this should be quite nice for black with a big advantage b5 is very interesting though it's taken and now rook e6 there's an idea to gain a key tempo to whip up a direct attack against h2 so this is real uh, King's crushing stuff, basically. Uh, we have rook a7. So what disturbs Stockfish 
initially it was thinking queen f1 fine but actually there's a really fascinating line here with the immediate queen f1 the rook left c4 and now uh if g3 here then bishop f3 check and queen h3 is a big advantage to black clearly uh, but say c4 rook h5 h3 rook f6 g3 on knight d5 there's actually rook f3 this is really vicious here that's actually a uh, checkmate there so rook f6 g3 say queen takes h3 check and here there's actually this really i know this is a variation bear in mind this is a variation but it really got me white's strongest move in this position if i gave you that as a quiz here five seconds to pause the video black to play what would you play here it personally did get me this <laughs> it's something to bear in mind it just seems like this is like basics 101 attacks we've got lots of pieces around the king what to do in such a scenario the strongest move is actually this <laughs> you might think you're just giving up the queen and you play this the thing is if you play bishop takes h3 yes it has bishop f1 as a threat of checkmate but after rook g2 it seems as though only black has a small edge so it's actually really kind of crucial in this position to play this uh, and whatever way it's cut white's king just really gets it here for example here check check and then mate or rook gb1 check bishop f3 with rook h1 mating uh, on bishop takes h3 so so king h2 so after rook f5 let's say king h2 then bishop takes h3 is really good for black after g4 check here rook f3 check and that's checkmate so this is just a disaster scenario all round but it starts off the magic starts with this now maybe somehow stockfish underestimated this kind of attack uh thinking that queen f1 it seems initially was was it going to be okay so this whole line um justifies b5 really this whipping up of the f3 and h3 squares uh so let's go back to the game uh the game continuation actually has rook a7 so not queen f1 but trying to get the queen you know to rescue the situation a bit rook f5 it's now queen f1 so with this inserted rook a7 and we have magnificent coordination rook e f6 rook a2 on g3 bishop f3 check and then queen h5 is strong with the idea knight h5 sorry h4 and then rook g6 and then taking here this is crushing so sorry rook a2 rook h5 it's pretty direct stuff h3 rook f3 and i just think instagram anyone with instagram hash kings crusher hash hack attack uh, hash Leela chess hash AI this is just beautiful stuff I mean look at these pieces over here they're just spectators I know this is only Stockfish 7 but the test 30 network is getting up there and it's starting to be Stockfish 9 uh, now uh, with greater frequency but this was yeah an older version of the 30 network so but it's just entertaining it's just really entertaining hack attack chess to me this particular position after rook f3 uh, g3 is played and now queen f6 not queen takes h3 which would get the queens off here this is the strongest move though again it echoes as the strongest move believe it or not uh, because uh, yeah there's still ideas of like rook g2 on bishop takes h3 so this this is a remarkable tactic which personally I didn't even I don't know about I don't actually don't know about this and this is just from analysis but um, I've never seen this kind of delayed uh, you know sack the Queen and then Brook F, Brook F5 type move I've not seen it before King h2 so you, uh, Bishop takes h3 this is this is this will be a big advantage to black so uh, Queen f6 though 
was played which is even stronger than that in this particular case queen h queen f6 yeah to just take h3 with a piece king h2 was played here if rook a5 rook takes h3 check this is a big advantage to black if rook a7 bishop takes h3 this is just crushing uh the queen's trying to distract the rook but in fact we can just stop that interruption and then it'll be checkmate from the rook h4 we can just smash with rook takes h4 yes queen takes h3 checkmate so king h2 uh was played and now we have queen e6 and now rook a5 this, this is very desperate stuff isn't it uh, on h4 then black just smashes through with knight takes h4 rook takes and here taking with that and then check and this is just going to be mating of course in short order so uh, rook a5 trying to distract the rook uh, but rook takes h3 check was played bishop takes knight c2 and the game was adjudicated as a win for black here black clearly is crushing it uh, this is a particularly crushing move if it was continued knight f4 so on takes then there's bishop f1 threatening queen h3 checkmate here and so for example here uh, this is checkmate as well uh, on rook takes this desperate stuff yeah well it's going to be checkmate pretty soon uh, or black's just totally winning anyway so uh, yeah uh, I thought this was a really entertaining game but just in five days since this game was played uh, the strength of the 30 network has gone up tremendously so really we've got basically the most entertaining chess player in the making AI chess player in the making I've ever witnessed and this is just wonderful stuff really wonderful stuff to see uh, okay I hope you enjoyed it as much as me so if you enjoyed this game video please click the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chessworld.net you can play against other youtubers you can also check the analysis of this and other amazing games from the uh, improved menu learn from the masters click YouTube order comments questions donations see the description box uh, the description of the video like share subscribe with the notification bell all appreciated thanks very much